Now, you may have heard that SNL celebrates its 40th anniversary this weekend with a star-filled special. I had the chance to catch up with the man who's been there from the very beginning, the creator and executive producer of SNL, Lorne Michaels. You oversee this show literally and figuratively. Yeah, totally. Figuratively, but yeah. literally, your office is right up there. Yeah, well, the first three days, uh, uh, Monday to Wednesday, we're up on the 17th floor, and that's where the writing is done and, and most of the early production. And then we move down here on Thursday, and then it gets fairly intense Friday night late because you're, you're locking in the show. And, and changes are still coming in, and then the host very often is filming till 5 in the morning and might have started at 6 in the morning that day filming something else. It's always sort of coming together. I've worked in this building for 22 years, not as long as you, but yes. a long time. So I've heard a lot yeah. of Lauren Michaels stories. I bet, yeah. <laughs> okay. And I've had a, heard a lot of words associated with you. I'm going to throw a couple of them at you. Sure. Give me a yes or no on right. them, okay? Youthful. <laughs> Handsome. <laughs> Youthful. <laughs> yes. I've Creative. Heard those. Yeah, yeah. Creative, yeah. Yeah, sure. Powerful. Yeah, inevitably now, yes. Yeah. Controlling? Uh, controlling, you know, sort of has a negative uh, context. I'd say in charge. I think people have to know who's in charge because, and everyone has to have a direct route to you. Uh, you know, pretty much I talk to everyone and that's, and then I listen and I absorb it, but at some point you make a decision and then you move on. Unflappable. Calm, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. The other word that I hear a lot used uh -huh. with you that surprises me uh -huh. is serious. I'm a serious guy, yeah. But I'm also, nothing makes me happy. Uh, Steve Martin and I uh, called me yesterday and he was going over the jokes and the monologue. And I was so happy laughing because you, you can get lost in detail and then you go, all oh, right, that's the reason we're all here is uh, we're going to make people laugh. And that generally starts with you laughing yourself. And that's, that's Joy. Live from New York, it's Saturday Night! Joy that began 40 years ago with a cast that reads like a who's who of comedy. Chevy Chase, John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, Jane Curtin, Gilda Radner, Lorraine Newman, and Garrett Morris. I always think that when, when you plant that seed and, and those uh -huh. roots take hold from uh -huh. that first season, that that's the foundation. It was that first group of people that you put together the reason we're sitting here 40 years oh, later? Oh, no question. The, the show stands on their shoulders. They were them and the designers, the, you know, the musicians, every, every aspect of the taste of the show came from really, you know, seriously creative people. It's hard to gather and get your arms around those egos. How did you manage it? I think that there was a sort of uh, pseudo galleon egalitarian uh, aspect of the show, which was part, part of that was the 70s, and part of it was you need the others. Everyone, we were all working together. It wasn't fair. Sometimes you cut someone's piece, and they, they think there's a bias, or they, but mostly everybody understood that I was just trying to go for the best show possible each week. It's, it's well documented that a couple of the brightest stars of this show in the past uh -huh. claimed out. Yes. And tragically. Yes. And when they did, did you take it personally? No, because, you know, the weirdest part about the show is you're just here, and you don't much leave the building except to go home. So when people go away or people go to Hollywood or, or leave the show, you stay in touch, but mostly they come back and you see them, or, but they're in a different world then. So when John died, he was, he'd gone three years, you know? So it's a different power structure out there. Here, it's, it, it's a very clear thing of we have a job to do, we have to get it done. So do you think in some ways leaving that structure, that power uh, structure, think structure here was the biggest problem? Yeah, and I think structure is incredibly important to creative people. I think boundaries and structure have to exist. Does it ever bug you when people take a nostalgic view of the show? In other words, you hear people say a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the cast today is not like the oh, cast yeah, yeah. it was when I was in college. Yes. Or when I graduated from college. Right. Yeah. We all have kind of a, a sweet spot right. no where question. we view the show. Does it bug you? No, not at all. I think that generally when people talk about the best cast, I think, well, that's when they were in high school. Uh, because in high school you have the least amount of power you're ever gonna have. You, you don't get to drive, you don't have any money. Staying up with friends late on a Saturday is great and people attach to a cast. 
Do you worry about your legacy? Do no, you, do I, I, I think the thing about the moment you begin to, first of all, talk about yourself in the third person or begin to think about where you are or um, worry about where your museum is going to go, you know, I think it's just a, it means you're out of the game and I love the game too much and why would you want to leave the game if, you, if you're good at it? When you're no longer good at it, then you disagree for a while and then, then gradually you leave. So you segue yeah. perfectly into the last question, yep. which is you're here on the 40th anniversary. Will yes. you be here on the 45th anniversary? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, I would expect so, yeah. So we end with the best headline we could have. You'll be here for the 45th. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, you I, I want to make it, I wanna make, make it through to the 40th right now, but thank you, man. He is the driving force yeah. behind that show sure and is. so many other comedic properties. Yes. In, the, in this country. Incredibly talented, but of course takes it so seriously, yeah. which is funny because of course he's in the comedy business, but that's what make it work, makes that's it work. Right. And again, we're hosting the SNL 40th Red Carpet Show this Sunday, 7, 6 Central Time. That comes just ahead of the live anniversary special. And we also want to mention there's a new book to mark the occasion, Saturday Night Live, the book. That's there a good go. title. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is a nice coffee table book. Mm -hmm.